Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done in a while. It's called the Solo Troop versus Dr. Terror. I'm going to be going over mostly all the troops. Um, like the Medic I can't do, the Grenadier is so weak, so I doubt that would do anything. And also the Heavy and the Rifleman are kind of weak, so it would mostly just be the Scorcher, Tank, and Zooka, plus the Warrior. So, we basically use one Warrior and see how far we could get with Dr. Terror stages. Um, I'm only expecting to get to like Dr. Terror stage 4 maybe, May probably won't even get that far. Um, I am not allowed to use critters on these stages, I can only use artillery and, uh, everything but critters, basically. And look at this. Boom. He's so strong. You know, like, one-shots those things. Look at it. Oh, it's through the trees. So lonely. Boom. And this is a maxed-out warrior, guys, and I could actually probably destroy this with artillery. And hopefully I won't kill my only warrior because that it's kind of a pain to retrain, guys. Okay, coming over here. Good, he's out of range of everything. Everything about that, but that's not gonna be an issue. Look how sweet it is. That's so silly. Look at look at it's like the the sniper tower is barely doing anything, and the warrior just like nope, heal, heal, heal. Uh, let's just shock it just for the fun of it, even though we don't need to. And let's actually move our warrior up here. Oh, no, that was a fail. So, yes, guys, this is not going to be going very well. I'll probably only get to, like, tear... I'll beat tear stage 3. I don't think I'll be able to beat tear stage 4. Um, because then the statues call it coming in and stuff start, uh... Harder to beat. They're, like, boosted health and stuff like that. We got a, a shard, which is good on this, the first stage, which is insane. Um, the volcano may be a dormant, but my terror turns split. You fire at your puny troops. Okay, whatever, Dr. Terror, I will beat you. Okay. First, we gotta take out these, uh, boom cannons. Okay, let's actually drop them over here, just for the fun of it. We'll just, like, soak up so much energy and just destroy everything over here. Yeah, this is mostly kind of, this is mostly just artillery and stuff and something to finish it off on. Um, see, so yeah. 40, yeah, wow. 40 gumbo energy to spawn a new another one of them. Okay, where's my little guy? All the way up here in the very back. I'm working on another top 10, guys. You guys are going to be seeing that pretty soon. Maybe in two days or three days. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's going to be... A, it, it, it's a ton of fun to make. Those top 10 videos. Um, and it's actually going to be a tip video. It's You guys will see what it is, but it involves tips. And not my usual top 10. So... This little guy walked all the way over here. Wow, he's just clearing out the base. We're going to destroy every single building on this base. And let's just drop an artillery on the HQ. And that actually might finish it. Boom, it did finish it. Oh, come on. So I got another shard on Terror Stage 2, which is good. All the shards I'll take. I'll take all of them shards. Okay. <coughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So this is when the health and damage start coming in, and this is like when it's gonna start getting hard. What we need to watch out for is stuff that will one-shot it, which are boom cannons, because if no will just stop me, like, right then. Um, see, now critters would be super nice if I was able to bring them. Drop a artillery here to take out the mines. But I can't bring crit or critters. Oops, and I just wasted an artillery, but okay. I got the energy. It doesn't require a lot of energy once he's down. I'm thinking I'm gonna I'll place a barrage up here and I'll kind of actually I'll start flaring him up there I'll flare him all the way back there and what that's gonna do is ooh that's not good oh man this is it give me a kick down no okay that's fine we're gonna just retrain him quickly um what we need to do is just need to do this, and now we need to wait. I can't believe that happened. Gosh, what a fail. I wasn't going to go around the base, but I guess the warrior isn't that smart. Okay. Gosh, I was watching that. That was a fail. That was an... That was such a bad fail, guys. That should have never happened. Okay. But I did fail at the beginning of this by doing something stupid. I wasted some artillery and stuff. And Okay, so... What we're doing here was just dropping a bunch of barrages to finish off everything. I'm gonna drop off that, and we're gonna drop that. Boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna drop that, and 
there we go we're pretty much cleared now we're good now we are good um i'm just gonna kind of uh, move him around the base let me know below what troop i should do next i'm probably gonna be doing the tank next because i want to see how bad he's gonna how good he's gonna do and i'm only gonna be doing it on dr terror oops I'm only going to be doing it on Dr. Terror stages, uh, the Volcano Base, so I want to see which troop is the best solo. Um, again, I'm not going to be doing the Rifleman, but Grenadier of a Medic. Okay, this guy's going to live. The Medic, Grenadier, Rifleman are heavy because they're not going to get anything done. We'll probably only be able to beat, like, Terror Stage 1 or 2, um... So, we're probably not going to do those. But, if you want to see how they work, tell me. Because that would be, be kind of fun. Solo Johnson. Woohoo. Okay. So, this base is going to be a win. I'm just going to drop that to kind of speed it up a little. Uh, that did speed it up a ton. We're going to have enough time to beat it. The rocket launcher can't do anything against it. And look at this whole other side. Who would even go over there? That's crazy. Um, it's just so easy. I'm not sure if I'll be able to beat the next tier stage. I'm guessing it's going to be an HQ20. And if that's the case, there's probably no way with the health boost, it'd be like 220,000 health or something like that. Um, that's pretty much not going to happen um, with one little warrior. But you know what, guys? I will try it once and see how it goes. If I lose him, if I think I could beat it, I'll probably retrain. But if I don't think I'll beat it at all, I'm just going to call it quits because I'm a quitter. Here we go. That one little warrior was able to finish it off. Boom. Nice little explosion there. It's like, psh, I love the explosions in this game. It's like smoke comes out. It's awesome. Uh, okay, I got two shards that time. Gosh, I got like five shards so far. No, four. Four shards so far. Four shards so far. Okay. I forgot to view what uh, health it was. I want to look at it. I want to see if I was close to it. Okay, I want to see. I want to see you guys. Um, oh, it's only an HQ-17 plus 98,000. Oh my gosh, this is so strong. Okay. Two rocket launchers, shock launcher. Okay, I could, I could do this. All I need to do first is I need to take out this boom cannon here. The goal is to get to the HQ as soon as possible, okay? Because the sooner I get to the HQ, the sooner it's going to go down. That's not good. We'll drop that. And we're going to flare to here. Drop a smoke. Because the smokes on Dr. Terror stages, guys, all the way over here, it takes so long for them to actually come. Um, okay, please don't hit that boom mine, dude. Good, good, good. Now we're just going to flare behind. And. Good. Okay, it's only the rocket launchers in range. And we're just going to hold it off for like a couple minutes to see if this guy is good. And he's going to stay alive. Or if I should waste all my energy on kill all those buildings. So it looks like he's going to stay alive, guys. Nothing else is hitting him. Now, what the question is, would it be more beneficial if I hit the HQ with my energy or if I destroyed all these clumps of buildings? I think it'd be more beneficial if I placed a barrage here. Okay. I don't know if that was worth it or not. And I don't think any hit him, which was good. We're just going to drop a bunch of artillery. And now we wait, guys. Now we wait. Um, this could be a while. I will speed this up so it's not taking forever. Okay, guys, well, that was a fail. Uh, we didn't have enough time. I really thought we would. Uh, if we had, like, a minute more, we would have beaten our, our beaten hill. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, we have to remember this, guys, when I do my other ones, since we're going to see which one is able to get the farthest. Um, we did get pretty far, which is good. Um, yeah, it was probably... 
couple tenths away from getting it. Um, so yeah, we'll remember the HQ health and we will get to that and we'll hopefully be able to beat that with a different tank. I mean, a different strategy. So I think I'll be able to beat it with the Zuka and tank just because they do a little more damage than the warrior. Anyway, guys, this is going to be it for the video. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like. As always, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.